Hello people, I'm doing a video about neutral game and this is an often requested topic from me and yesterday I actually made a quick uh, recording in Russian about that and I realized that a lot of people could benefit uh, from this uh, explanation. So I will try to do a quick video in English for you and well I'll try to be brief because I'm you know not Signia who makes two hours with that nobody ever see through and uh, so um, let let me you know do that because not a lot of uh, there's no soul caliber videos about neutral and I want to say that neutral is different for every game I'll be focusing mostly on soul caliber uh, because you know one of the uh, aspects of this game is that uh, movement is not safe and that uh, Whiffs can be basically punished on reaction or if uh, at least if anticipated so even quick pokes like that or that uh, Can be punished if your enemy expect them uh, So uh, what is a neutral game? well uh, A lot of people think that it's about with punishing and while that is a uh, definitely a part and a significant part of neutral game that is also not exactly the core of neutral and in my opinion uh, neutral game is about um, uh, doing moves at effective well <laughs> that will be a little vague uh, but at effective range effective time and um, in a way that will uh, limit your enemy uh, so that you know he doesn't have a lot of stuff to do so that will become predictable so the one who succeed the most at keeping the right range pressing the right moves at that range so that the enemy becomes predictable and so you can whiff punish him you you can make him whiff you can make him press uh, and and then you can uh, take advantage of that right and at, at the same time, also neutral game is not just with punishing; it's also staying out or preventing your enemy into getting to range that is his strong range, where he has advantage, where his options will uh, outshine, out outperform yours. So to start with that, I hope that's understandable. My my understanding of neutral, I hope it's uh, clear. Uh, so it's not just you know backdashing and watching for your enemy to weave something from half the screen It's also about just making a, is it that you have to press buttons <laughs> to actually force your enemy to react to them if only uh, Pressing middle attacks would force them to step more that is already neutral game uh, So they have to you know why pokes are usually uh, uh, used to portray neutral game is because pokes usually require more concentration more specific range more specific choice of options to punish because they have fast recovery and they prevent enemy to reacting to some other things because uh, because it takes so much of their concentration because it takes so much of their resources and it requires you know not every character has a lot of range so they have to stay right outside this range for example which opens up other options and so um, uh, this is why um, this is why pressing buttons also matter. It's not just because you wanna always backdash, 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 backdash and, and punish. That will not work because enemy will not fall for that if you are not doing anything to make them press. So uh, coming back to my whole point, let's start with some basics. And basics are like this is a high move, okay? The high move that steps, uh, that stop step, uh, and uh, what you wanna do if you. If you see a high move, you can duck it. Right, that's pretty basic. And you can, of course, uh, use high crash moves on a read. And um, uh, if uh, your enemy does middle moves, you cannot really counter that by ducking. So you can step, right, and punish. And when you make such a move like ducking, or sidestepping or long sidestepping in um, 
a certain range, uh, you're making a read. Basically, making a read uh, is taking a risk, right? Uh, that's the term for a read. So uh, uh, you're taking a risk to deal f some good damage. You're expecting a particular move from your enemy. Uh, but uh, at some point, uh, you don't want to really, you, you don't really want to guess. And, and, and some characters have more annoying uh, moves than others. Some characters just uh, have more range than you do, and they will keep spamming these moves to prevent you from going in, to annoy you, to provoke you, to try to hit you when moving. So they will just move, 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 then press something, move, 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 then press something else. And at some point you say enough, I'm not guessing right, I can't, uh, if I guess right, I can punish well, I have to commit to HUD, etc. So if basically if I move like this and if I force you to make a big read, like, you know, if you try to uh, really punish that and you don't have the range to equal mine, you will have to do some some really big uh, stuff uh, like you know just try to interrupt him with something big and that's definitely with punishable you know what I mean so if I keep moving I will punish this big with every every time so uh, and of course he can try to go in and uh, like be B but well it's still a commitment from them so he, your enemy doesn't really wanna to deal with that uh, spam and this game also have guard damage, etc., etc. So, uh, what he can he do to prevent uh, your spam of ranged moves? Uh, so, well, he can if he doesn't want to make a read. So, well, he can block, and some moves slow to take initiative because frame data is usually negative on block. Uh, so he can block. But then he can also try to interrupt whether he sees you coming in or whether he thinks you're gonna throw out these moves at certain range. He can try to interrupt like I showed you. And then, uh, let me just try to do something like this. So when I'm moving and I think the move is gonna come, I can interrupt. So, uh, also something I can do is I can backdash and punish. So uh, these kind of things that uh, when you think an enemy is gonna try to keep you out, you're not advancing, right? You can interrupt his attempts to keep you out. You can evade them by going backwards. You can simply block them and take your turn or you can make a hard read, so you can duck, or you can, you know, step until you see a whiff and punish that. Though, so, so that's the cornerstone of your options in neutral. Of course, I'm, I'm, uh, I have to say that you can also run in and mix them up because you're not always on defense. But neutral is usually not. not um, the mix-up is quite simple, so every character, if he has an opportunity, if your enemy is blocking a lot, if he doesn't want to make an active um, choice, you can always just, you know, explain to them that's not a great idea by just running in and pressing something like that, like that, like that, etc. So, and of course, you just, if you're a nightmare, you can just keep spamming some moves to, uh, f to you know, force some uh, reaction from them, but it still depends on their behavior. Because you see, every move you make in a game is an information extraction. And why I'm speaking about this, because I'm gonna uh, speak about risk reward in a second, and I'm gonna explain why some moves are more annoying than others. Uh, well, and I, I, actually I'm gonna say this right now, because some moves has low, re low reward unless your enemy makes a big reads, like, you know, duck in neutral or press a high crush or uh, something else. So some moves have better reward on block and enemy can actually learn something without taking much risk. So uh, Mitsurugi has these moves, for example, 6BB or 6XB. Uh, those are mids. Uh, this one is actually plus on block, so it's not even your turn to move after you block that. And this one is launcher uh, that will deal significant damage of hit. And it uh, is 
it's sort of safe on black because if you try to punish you will get out the jet for a lot of damage and also Mitsurugi can delay or uh, you know do, do a quick uh, motion to or just press some other button from stance and be at uh, plus or be safe with this move so so, so basically there's still a mix-up on block right so that's the move that is not a really risky if enemy blocks at that uh, and uh, you still will get an information about your enemy by doing that on block so enemy will can of course they can block it but that's a not a good way a good option for them they will try to do something about it if you spam this move they will try to step eventually and uh, one reason why Mitsurugi is so strong is why his uh, neutral game is so strong is because he has a lot of range and because his middle moves his linear middle moves have so much reach they are difficult to even backdash he has like some of the farthest reaching bb in the game look just look at, at that uh, look at that range this is insane and this move of course is quite sick and uh, it's 40 damage is pressure so it's great this move is pretty good uh, this this move of course he has uh, you know these moves like a lot of moves that are safe a lot of mid moves that are safe that are decent on block decent on hit uh, and this move is minus two on block that deals a lot of damage and counter hit so you get it uh, Mitsurugi mo middle moves are not uh, something your enemy wants to block and they are also not uh, something he can easily get away uh, by backdashing because Mitsurugi range is one of the best in the game so uh, and I'm getting to the point when I'm going to explain to you why certain characters work the way they do uh, why uh, they can provoke a response from your enemy why Mitsurugi is so good at a classical neutral game where he can just move around and punish people well because he had these ranged moves and your enemy can't uh, can't really shit, can't really get around that because at this range you can catch backdash and from this from this range you you will stop back there easily so that's a lot of range for you know a close close fighter and if you back dash at this point you are going to punish your enemy for whiffing and if you dash in at this point you will be able to mix your enemy up if either by doing this this and if you poke at that range it's still not easy for your enemy to punish because to punish something like that, like I showed you, your enemy has to has to backdash and step. So if you do something like that, it's not easy to punish. You don't even have the range for that unless you're you know another Mitsu that can just see you into oblivion. That C E is another reason why he's so good because even smallest of Pokes are not safe when Mitsurugi is even in that range. So imagine this going on, right? Your block, Mitsurugi is, is going off, okay, is going like this, and you're punished. Boom! You're not recovered yet. So that's what you've people seen skill do. That's what people been seeing me do. Uh, so yeah. So he's extraordinary at whiff punishing because he has so much range he can move back and still punish with this move he can still punish with his ce he can often still punish with his bb which is not an option for many other characters that have to commit by doing you know bigger moves that can be provoked into doing bigger moves and at the same time he has strong uh, strong close range low attacks uh, that can be used to uh, annoy enemy that usually can be stepped like this and his and his at the same time enemy doesn't want to block because his middle moves are not well they they are too strong on block and what enemy is basically forced to do against Mitsurugi most most of the time he's forced to step and is you know keep on stepping <laughs> or try to block or try to interrupt so if enemy steps uh, or blocks uh, of course you just uh, run in and pick them up so they think okay maybe i should press something right 
And if they press something, you can still punish them for it by just out out zoning them by just walking back and forth and going around by running forward and going backward so like this yeah so uh, that's why mitsurugi neutral game is enabled by uh forcing people to move and people will say well step guard well that doesn't really work people because movement aligns and if i just start to move along with you and press uh, these middle moves at random timing I'm gonna hit you out of it so uh, if of course it can be applied to a degree and of course I can still use high attacks to beat that and, and he's pretty good at high attacks so, and, and, and so eventually you will want to commit to it uh, or to, you, will, you still wanna press something when I approach right and that's when I'm gonna either back away or get in and press something. If I think you will interrupt, I'm gonna back away. If I think you're scared to press, I'm, I can as well just get in and mix you up. And also Mitsurugi is extraordinary at punishing block and saves with this 14 frames move, with his CE 12 frames, of course, with his uh, 6AB, which lead to a great Okizemi situation. And um, well, even his BB is pretty amazing at that, which can punish even toughest, uh, longest uh, uh, moves with a lot of pushback. So uh, Mitsurugi is really good at countering attempts to keep him away. Okay, so that's that's it. He's tough to block. He punishes well. He punishes well on block. Punishes well on hit and basically your only options to do something if he uses his strong tools is to step 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 and then try to interrupt him when you think he's gonna get in and that's why he plays neutral game because you will eventually want to stop him from getting in by pressing and if you do that you get punished so and um and when i was talking about uh, high and mid moves in the beginning well there are horizontal moves usually uh, that hit mid like Siegfried has some and other character have some but uh, this game is designed in a way that these moves are very often either unsafe or they are slow so unsafe can be punished and slow moves can be interrupted that is also important to understand and when you have to press and if you have to press, because if your enemy has fast, or if your enemy has a long reaching mid moves so that is safe on block, that hits horizontally, you will want to press, right, to stop that, like Maxi 2-2A, which we will get back uh, very soon, which we will get into very soon, right? <clears throat> I'm going to talk about Maxi next, because I think he's very good at explaining uh, the difference between uh, character like Mitsurugi and um, character like Maxi. So yeah, uh, that's uh, what I want to say about Mitsu. So that, that's how a neutral game is enabled, by using your strong tools and keeping the right range at which these tools work. And I think if you've been following my thought, uh, you understand now how this works, why this works. Okay? So not, now let's look at Maxi. I'm gonna use him because I use him, use him as an example for uh, my uh, petitioner that requested this video. He plays, I think, Maxi character. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick Taki, maybe I'll talk about her in a while. Maybe not, if I have time. Actually, it's taken a little, more, a little bit more than I thought it would. But <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about Maxi now. So, Maxi. Uh, he has a few ranged moves that all Maxi players will use, and they are 66A plus B and 66A plus B hold. They are 44B, that is high crush. It is kind of, by the way, I totally forgot to say about Mitsurugi 1A, which is an amazing neutral tool as well, despite being punishable because of how limiting it is to enemies, and a lot of characters cannot punish it at all and that is also deadly because it creates space it's very long reaching it requires a lot of concentration to punish because most people will have to jump that and it also will uh, high crush and little hit uh, high moves so that's 
also very limited and, and I talked that neutral is about limiting people and that's why I am started to talk about Maxi because he plays neutral game a little differently. So this move uh, Maxi has for 4B is um, similar to Mitsurugi 1A, it's, it's much worse of course but it's still a move that your enemy doesn't, uh, it's not like he doesn't want to block it but it's not optimal to block it, right? Because it's still on block, it's still a guess. Like a lot of maxi moves like this, like this move is also a guess on hit, and uh, this will high crush and let hit high attacks. So that's also limiting in a sense. Well, that is of course uh, not a move that you can spam, <laughs> but it uh, if you can make a certain read, if you can understand the way your open moves and things, it can be very um, uh, you know, limiting. It can really scare him. To, he will be scared to press high moves, etc. And he will want to step more, maybe, which will in, in, which will increase the reward for moves like that. And even this move on block, well, it can be punished. It can be blocked and punished. Uh, this one can be punished with something like 2K. But you know, if you space it right, well, maybe not. You may be not punished uh, because you can pay sell back. But anyway, what I'm talking here uh, is that, like with Mitsurugi, with Mitsurugi, these moves uh, are not perfect for your opponent to block. Yeah, he can block and still play decent game, but he usually want to do something else. He doesn't really want to block this, for example. Uh, so, um, what uh, you can also do at range is this move, which is, I think, his core neutral uh, game move, and uh, this move that's used to punish, and this move that's used to kinda mix <coughs> things up. But anyway, this is quite suboptimal range for Maxi to be at, despite this amazing move, because the enemy will just, you know, <coughs> step back without risking too much, and Maxi will have to advance. So, despite having some tools at this range, he definitely cannot punish whiffs like Mitsurugi does, and, uh, well, this this is not his strongest moment, but his strongest, well, his strongest range is about this. And why is that? Well, you, you will use these tools I was talking about to make enemy respect you, to make enemy afraid to press because this is like 80 damage uh, and because this will still hit a lot of things, it will still reach far enough. So, uh, what, what your enemy... if your enemy lets you get here, this gets good because you have this move which is safe middle attack that pushes away on block pretty far also uh, pretty far so you can still defend somehow and your enemy will want to do something about that because uh, he doesn't really want to block this move because it's safe. He doesn't want to get hit because it deals really good damage. It deals like uh, 35, I think. Yes, that's correct. And it deals 42 on counter hit. That's good damage. That's knockdown, which you can exploit. And um, it high crushes. He cannot do high attacks. So, so that's uh, that is limiting, right? So your enemy can't use his high attacks, he can't block it, so he has to move back or he has to step this. So if he steps or he, he can interrupt that, but not with, with high attacks, which are usually the fastest attack, right? So he will have to press something else. So now if your enemy steps or presses something else or even backdashes in certain ranges, you will you have this move. This is a really really good move, which is despite being slightly unsafe, people can usually punish that with 2k, which will deal like 12 damage and uh, keep uh, you will stay in usually plus four because most 2k are like minus four on hit. So <clears throat> this is 50 damage and it's still Max's turn after that. 
and that's a lot for 50, 40 frames move and that can be stabbed so usually pressing at that range against maxi is not an option at all because of this because of this pressing is just not great choice uh, so the enemy will try to back away from you and if your enemy tries to back away you have this move that deals like I told, told you before deals a lot of damage so you will ideally you will want to throw this move out at this range because this range uh, uh, is the range where you threaten your enemy where you want where he doesn't want to be where he wants to leave <laughs> where he wants to either press something or uh, back away well, unlike Mitsurugi, where he wants to step or press, he wants to back away or press, and while pressing, he also takes, like with Mitsurugi, he takes a lot of risks, but if Mitsurugi uh, punishes those uh, risky moves by backing away, uh, and he has more range to do that, so if a secret with th something Mitsurugi can still backdash because he has great backdash and he can still punish because he has a lot of uh, range on his punish Ma Maxi without his C can't really do much about it he can't really punish that well on, on whiff unless he commits to it unless he, he really is expecting a whiff and is preparing a good punishment so uh, what what I'm what I'm saying is, is that different characters limit uh, opponent options in a different way. So Maxi is about pressing at that range, pressing aggressively at that range because that is how he prevents enemy from pressing. Because this is high crowd, this is quick interrupt and anti step. This is just uh, also will counter hit presses while not as easy to hit because it's slow. It still will hit sometimes and reward compared to. Some some like BB, which deal like 30 damage, right? Uh, it's uh, you can outguess your enemy at um, if, even if enemy outguess like hits you with uh, BB three times, and you will on fourth uh, time you will hit them uh, randomly with this move, you will be approximately equal in damage. So that's okay. That's okay. This kind of damage is okay to try and press. <coughs> Well, so, okay, so, uh, and uh, so when Mitsurugi can backdash, like, someone like Secret Maxi cannot, so he has to press, he has to press to stop, uh, to stop uh, your enemy from pressing himself, and if your enemy is scared, if he starts to back away, well, you can always run in and mix them up with something like that, something like that, something like that, and we'll, we'll apply his stance game, which, which, mind you, is maybe a little suboptimal if your enemy knows how to play, but uh, it's still good. I think this move is pretty great on hit, and uh, <coughs> uh, this move is always decent. And even hit 3B is well okay-ish. So yeah, you can do some things about your enemy just wanting to stand and block. Uh, so yeah, Maxi is playing like this, I think. Maybe Maxi mains will not agree on some points I make, but I'm certain that uh, uh, it illustrates difference between, say, Mitsurugi and Maxi in uh, their tools, in their uh, neutral. So neutral for Maxi is not about backing away and you know waiting for a whiff to punish. That's not it. When when you have meter, it changes slightly because you have slightly more options. And when I mean, if he doesn't pay attention to your meter, he will not. Um, <clears throat> see it come he will not see it coming but breaking uh, range with maxi is not ideal because you know you broke range the enemy didn't whiff shit and you're like mm, what i do right so <clears throat> i have to get back somehow <clears throat> so uh yes yeah, so his neutral game is based around aggressively pressing at closer uh, close to mid range so if he presses aggressively at this range, enemy cannot do much about that because this is a lot of damage. Well, I explained that in, uh, enough times already. Yes. So <coughs> this is this is approximately how that works for him. His neutral game is just different. Now we have someone like Taki, uh, who has. Um, doesn't really have ways to stop backdash like people are complaining about. Oh, well, what Taki has, she has amazing close range mix-up and uh, 
uh, she has great throat, which deal uh, throat throws, which deal a lot of damage uh, compared to you know they 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 deal good damage uh, and give a decent okay them uh, so. <clears throat> Uh, and she has insane buttons at close range, which, which um, you know, this move is uh, 12 frames that will punish almost everything, which leaves neutral on hit, and it's really good, he, he has fast uh, A attacks, he, she has safe fish uh, A6, uh, which will which is a middle attack that prevents step, which is a middle attack as it leads to you know great damage on um, like I think it's over 100 damage on a little hit uh, with those unblockable uh, combo and um, uh, at close range she definitely can outpress anyone, but she it's kind of difficult for her to get in. So what she does. Why she works? She has this 3B, amazing 3B that is really hard to punish, and a lot of people are complaining, saying that's broken. But actually, uh, I'm gonna say that she definitely needs it because that the way she's designed to play, <coughs> because she has so such a hard time uh, getting in, <coughs> she excels at just coming and blocking a lot, and when she she comes in at closer range like this by just blocking while taking maybe a few hits, blocking a few hits. She really limits you by her ability to punish, by her evasive moves, by her speed of move that can interrupt almost everything. Because this is 16 frames high crush move that can, on its own can punish a lot of things. This can punish a lot of things. This is 16 frames 3B. Uh, and... Uh, 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 and when she gets in, she, she can punish really strongly with uh, sidestepping, and most characters do not have that kind of uh, punish from just step step guard that well, Taki has. So, <clears throat> and if if you allow her to, if, if you are scared at close range, to, if you're scared to press, you can only against against Taki. If she comes close to you, the only real option you have is not pressing is to go back and which a lot of people are complaining well if you just press 4 uh, I can pressure well well you can pressure because your enemy is afraid to press you can just run in and mix, mix them up and that's why she's so good yeah she of course she has some moves to you know, play neutral game slightly but um, those are kind of not really great well, especially this move. She's also extremely good at punishing stances. She can punish, for example, Siegfried is one of the characters that will struggle against Taiki because she can punish every stance he has quite easily compared to other characters that have no guaranteed punishment. She can just 4BA against many stances. She can do this. She can also approach by this high crush move, which is, you know, high highs I often use to uh, prevent enemy from coming in, so she can make a read and a uh, little hit you with that. And yeah, so, and to compensate for her uh, inability to really get in outside of just holding block, and it's okay if enemy comes to Taki, you know, if you let enemy come to you and even if he tries to mix you up, you're still good, you have some really good ways to punish uh, throw attempts, you have some really good punishment to uh, middle moves, you have ju just great punishment of everything on block, you have a lot of evasion, so Taki really wants you close, she can interrupt every mix up with this stuff, so with this stuff, is like I said, it's high crash uh, 60 frame, that is really hard to punish even <coughs> on block or weave, and that has a lot of like three-way mix up in there, um, that is difficult to deal with. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so another thing she has, another design she has, uh, is uh, she has a lot of guard damage. Uh, she had this amazing up A plus B, she has chip damage, she has move that will deal significant uh, damage to guard and burst it. So that is a compensation for, because she will... Uh, damage your guard so well, 
you will want to press against her eventually. You will not be able to just stand and block. And that's also why you will want to press and she will block and punish, she will step and little hit, she will just uh, make you pay for pressing buttons. This is her design. Maybe you can argue that she is not that great at, at this, you know, at uh, damaging your guard, that she has some flaws, but I'm just explaining why I think her design is like this, why she's so amazing at damaging guard, why she has no ways to, you know, get in because she has these close range tools, and her neutral game <laughs> is eventually about just getting in and provoking a moves that are at least slightly unsafe so she can punish with this. She limits you by the sole fact of tools, of counter hit tools, of punishment tools she has. So her neutral game is largely around just baiting a counter, he just moving close to you and making you fear and then uh, and then uh, applying her uh, really strong close range mix up. And so uh, when you are limited to pressing a certain amount of tools that are unsafe against uh, the, or that are safe against Taki because very little um, things are safe that's where she can apply a more distant base, a slightly distant based game, like, you know, she can move, move away and then when you weave come in, she can high crash or something, but actually Taki's neutral game is not really about uh, ranged game, it's mostly about getting close step by step and applying your strong mix-up, applying your strong 3B, applying your strong 4B and just making you feel uncomfortable because of how much coverage her tools have and that is important uh, part I'm gonna finish with that is that coverage is what determines effective neutral game your options at it, its effective range are effective because they cover so much stuff your enemy will do. Maxi 6AB covers so much, Maxi 6A covers so much, it's hard to contest with that, it's hard to m match that uh, uh, moves at, that, at this particular range. It's hard to uh, do anything about this move but press. It's limiting because it's so powerful, it's limiting because it doesn't leave you much choice as to how to counter that. And the same goes to Mitsurugi, and I, I explained that in detail, because you don't really have much options to but to step or interrupt, or against Maxi, you don't really have much options to counter this move. The same with Taki, you don't really have much options when she is close that are better than hers. You can still make a read, you can still make a big read, and this is uh, the way this game and any game works. If you just read your opening better than he does, you will win. <laughs> Anyway, but the chances that uh, you make this read are not that great because at every range, every character has his own tools, and some characters' tools are just better. Understanding your good tools and where to apply them and why you want to be there. Like, you know, a lot of Takis just want to run in with this, but that's not your good range. That's not your good tool to get in, unless you, you make a hard read, and that's what I was talking about. But if you just block, that's a, that's where the fun begins, because, you know, for example, the 3B, despite Taiki having issues with people backdashing, her 3 will catch a lot of backdashes at plus 8, like a lot of moves are plus 8 or minus 8 on block. So if you block something and press 3B, a lot of times you will catch people moving, backdashing, even stabbing sometimes. So uh, that is quite limiting, that is, that is something that will make them fear. And um, uh, yes, yeah, so the, it's not uh, just the range or just the damage, it's also how difficult it is to counter a move, how difficult it is to fight at that range for a character against you and against Taki it's impossible to fight close range, against Max it's really hard to to fight this range, and against Mitsurugi it's really difficult to fight this range. Uh, 
so you I've made you three the examples of uh, three characters different ranges how they work why their neutral game works how it's enabled essentially and why why it's enabled so and it it's really I think it's really different between Taki that just wants to block a lot Maxi that just wants to press a lot and Mitsurugi that just wants to move a lot they all play neutral game completely different and I hope you understand why, because, you know, I figured that a lot of people just have no clue why things hit, why things work, why uh, that or this works. And, of course, I'm not saying just don't move with Maxi, don't step, but you, you can still uh, escape some moves by stepping, you can still do some things, but you just have to know the risk reward of it, the coverage, and if it's really better than just pressing a button. In, in, in that particular case uh, because lots of people just have a habit to play in a certain way like my, um, personally I just play every character like <laughs> like a play Mitsuru, play, play Mitsuru because I'm really good at moving I'm good at defending I just you know provoke people with even with Ast Astaroth I managed to with punish people with his CE uh, so uh, I just can't get around certain habits I have, but that's uh, uh, and still some people that are really good players, they can play um, characters in a way that is neutral based. Uh, like um, for example, like I'm playing Maxi or Astros, like I would play Mitsurugi, and while that's not really a good way to play that this character, I can still still win against many people, just because I'm uh, I defend better, I move better, and 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 some people get impression that it's the right way to play the character like this, because you know some players they, some top players they saw on internet plays like this, but uh, you know a lot of top players they just have this um, uh, fundamental. Uh, think that are good but they are not necessarily using their characters effectively and I'm just I think I just um, gave you some good examples to get you started to make you think on your own uh, what are my strong moves why are they limiting my opponent how can I limit him and what will he do to try and prevent me from doing these moves and how can I take advantage of that uh, particular behavior pattern he will implore so oh, anyway thank you for watching I hope that's useful for you I still made a fucking 40 uh, minute video I didn't really want to I wanted it twice as short but well hey sorry about that hi signia hope you enjoyed this video i'm sure you will are one of the people who will watch it till the end after i tagged you at the beginning and see you later maybe with some other revelations i will deem necessary to unleash upon you my friends